Hey friends, this is Atif Hope you're well and welcome to the new update on GFT. As in my earlier videos, I've been showing you that GFT broke out a very big falling wedge pattern and after that it was uh, testing a quite long term uptrend line support and this was uh, my last video by the way. And now if we take a look at the live chart then you can see that still it is uh, testing this uptrend line support. Previously it was testing this support here after the breakout and now it is again dropped down at this uptrend line support. By the way, this support is coming from here from the month of june 2023 when it was moving inside this patch pattern uh we had a bounce here and then we had another bounce here another bounce here and recently you can see that it is again testing this uptrend line support at the same time uh, stochastic on the seven days time frame chart has again entered the oversold zone and in today's video we will also analyze this move as well and i would also like to share with you my most recent trade signal for gft that i shared a few days ago almost five days ago with my members but before starting this analysis if you are not subscribed to my channel then do subscribe it and for more trading signals you can also join me and support me as a youtube member or as a patreon member because there i'm sharing different trading signals for you and you can find a link to join me there in the video's description i shared so let's start the analysis and first of all let me begin with my most recent trade signal for gft that I shared almost five days ago with my members on 9th of May 2024 and that was an expected harmonic bullish reversal trap move that GFT was completing on a two hour time frame chart with US dollar pair and this was the complete trade setup this was the buying zone and the sell target zone in the stop loss and you can see if I play this chart then the price line drop more down into the buying zone here and finally, we had a very, very nice reversal and read the sell target zone. But this pump can be a bigger one because if we take a look at the seven days time frame chart, then you can see that we are moving at this very, very long term support uh, and uptrend line support. And you can see whenever the price line is testing this support, we are watching very, very nice and powerful pumps. Like uh, here, when we tested the support, we had a nice pump. And after that, we tested the support here. We had a short pump and here we had a big pump. And recently, you can see that for the past several weeks, it is again testing this support, this uptrend line support again and again. At the same time, uh, Stochastic has entered the oversold zone. Previously, when it was uh, dropped down here uh, at the support of this wedge, and Stochastic was entered the oversold zone, then you can see that the price line recovered back, and we had a very, very massive pump and broke out the resistance of this falling wedge pattern. And you can see that at that time, the price line. Uh, had also broken down this uptrend line support but recovered back very soon and again broke out this uh, support as a resistance as well and by the way here we had a quite long term resistance and support zone that starts from 1.32 cents and goes to 1.17 cents and the price and also broke out that, re that resistance zone as well and since then you can see that this resistance zone is working as a very very nice support we had a bounce here we had another bounce here another bounce from this support zone here and at the same time the price line is again getting bounced again and again by this uptrend line support as well and last time when it was entered the oversold zone here it just touched the oversold zone and received the bull cross like when this blue line crossed up this orange line that was a very nice buying signal then you can see that the price line without touching this support this uptrend line support geared up but got rejected by this quite long-term resistance zone that starts from uh 3.57 cents and goes to 3.85 cents that was previously breaking as a support zone here and now for the past several months it is breaking as a resistance zone we got rejection here we got another rejection here and now we are again dropped down at this up trend line support and this time again stochastic has entered the oversold zone now we need to wait for a bull cross like previously we received the bull cross here then we had a very very nice uh pump here you can see and once we will again receive a bull cross and while the price and will be moving still moving above this support zone this support level uptrend line support then we can expect that after the bull cross we may see another very very massive bounce from the support by the way here we have a very very massive resistance this time you can see that this is the ichimoku bearish cloud resistance and this green line is the lower bands of this ichimoku bearish cloud and you can see that the price and is getting rejected by this lower bands again and again and we also have this uh, uh, quite long term resistance here at two cents as well. That was previously working at the resistance here and resistance here. And now for the past few weeks, it is also working as a resistance. At the same time, you can see that we also have a parallel uh, resistance here as well. And this is a quite wide up channel formation. Now you can see we got rejection here, here, and here. 
and therefore if the price then starts another reversal from here then it can hit the resistance of the channel somewhere here approximately at 3.9 cents and over there we have again this very very long-term resistance on that starts from 3.574 cents and goes to point three uh at 3.85 cents now if we take a look at the final target for this very very massive breakout from this falling wedge pattern then target for the breakout from this wedge is here at the top of the wedge that is between 9 cents to 10 cents so this was the update so far i hope that you've liked the analysis then do hit the like and do subscribe to the channel as well and for more trading signals you can also join me and support me as a youtube member or as a patreon member because there i'm sharing different trading signals for you and you can find a link to join me there in the video's description I've shared. Take care. Goodbye.